Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Brightfoman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Poland Lithuania. And in this episode, uh, we are clearing out the last Ottoman troops in the province of Anatolia. So let's get ready to destroy this force under Yunus, Mimis, and then we'll start to begin pushing south against the Ottomans. So let's take them out. This army is very weak. It is not at full strength. It's heavily depleted, so we... We should be okay just to force them back. Um, ideally we'll kill as many as we can so that the enemy doesn't recover any units they could possibly reconstitute. But as it stands in the province, we're probably going to send one army south towards Damascus and one army east towards Baghdad. And the army that secures Baghdad's probably going to uh, fortify and then start building up a garrison and then the army's going to swing west. See, that's the best thing about fighting in some of these maps in the Middle East. It's because they're so damn open. Artillery is king. Just blast them. Okay, right. So some of my art units are a bit weak, so let's probably pick a slightly limited front rank. Almost had it. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Then these remnants. We're going to defend the hill. It's a superior fighting position. Cavalry hold. Wait and see what the enemy actually does. Uh, how it says maybe deploy back here. And general will get up here to watch. Yes. Very small army. So there's probably going to be some hidden troops in here somewhere. The army, the army was small, but not that small. Let's just let the artillery do the work. Or do work, because we want to um, get these guys' experience up a little bit. Although, uh, let's probably try and move my infantry a little bit. Get my... Polish cavalry, Polish lancers out here. The irregulars can open up on these Mamelukes and working their way around the flank if they get within range. If they don't get within range, we will just use the lancers. And it looks like they are going to perfectly circumvent the line, in which case just push my skirmishers up. There we go. They think they're charging first. We're in with the Mamelukes. Killed two, no losses. Three, four, no losses. God damn, nine, no losses. So probably going to start. We're at risk of taking losses now. We've the initial charge has been dealt with. Down to eighteen. Still haven't lost a single Polish hussar. Okay, let's probably work these guys around and then dot my cavalry around the back. And yep, so they destroy this enemy cavalry position without taking a single loss. Good work, man. Push forward because when the enemy starts collapsing, you want our artillery to be in a position to start doing some damage. Howitzers just attack the Delhi horsemen. Actually, howitzers can shoot as is. Put artillery engage the Delhi horsemen. They hit our line. They haven't got the strength. Skirmishers. The skirmishers are doing some really good work on the flank. Looks like the enemy is balancing, ready to try and focus on where this, where those skirmishes are, but it does bring them in range of my line. Okay, bring these lances across.
you men chase them down. We could move up, we could move our flanks in even more, but I don't think it's going to be really needed. Janice, your musketeers are broken, the Armenian archers are going to be at the threat. Let's just cease fire the artillery now in general. A few lances have been picked off by the Delhi horsemen, but this is why we've got the cavalry here. Trabant cavalry chase down those musketeers. There you go, there's the enemy, enemy archers. Lances can deal with them. General charge into here just because there's a unit of Bashi Bazooks. Take them out. Steady. Vulnerable for the gen vulnerable moment for the general here. Lancers go for the Armenian archers. Yeah, there we go. Generals died. To be expected. Bad luck. Bad luck, old boy. Kill the Bachi Bazooks. It's not a great engagement. Because they are Lancers in a, in a knockout fight in melee combat, so it's not ideal. Yes. Pretty sure I probably lost more cavalrymen to friendly fire from my fire by rank than I did in actual engagement. Go for them. Cavalry keep engaging. Okay, you've got six Janistry Musketeers here, so I probably want to make sure you definitely get them. Kill these two, there's one back here, and that is the Okay, you guys all have to go for this unit of Israeli. Nice. Good. Okay, so we lost a general. And but we still managed to smash the enemy force. Ugh. Don't worry. We'll get to the push to the pass and then we'll get ready to hold. See if we can recruit somebody the last bit of cash we've got. We've only got 41 gold. And let's hit him turn. Okie dokie. So how do people respond to what we've done? The Austrians are still in a bit of a paralysis. The Ottomans have fallen back. Interesting. Yeah, they're calling back their gentlemen. The Marathas are going to Marath. Hurting colonies. Religi religious agents are going to be a perpetual problem. This is more like it. So we've immediately got a border with Persia. And they've just gone right. Attack. So we're going to call in our allies. And they've all joined us because we're a superb, superb person. Superb faction. So we need to be ready to fight the Persians. They're probably well, they're going to be coming from the east. Apart from that though, things look like they're progressing quite normally. So we'll recruit a new general, reinforce the army. Then get ready to push south. Okay. Right. Agent executed. Ah. Wait, that was their, their agent executed. Damat Baghdadi. Tried to assassinate somebody or something. Minus two 
morale for battles. Let's reinforce you. Get the roads built. Get this built. Okay, you probably... Well, no, probably are. Probably about it. You're going to go to the artillery fort. Okay, Kirch. Let's upgrade your ironworks. Upgrade the church school in Rhineland. That's all good. All these buildings are max upgraded. So we've lost our trade agreement with Persia. So in Ankara, we've got this mine to rebuild. We've got this farm to repair. Let's upgrade the iron workshop. Okay, so. Because we can leave, we're not going to wait. We're not going to wait for them to come to us. We're going to attack Tabriz. Come on. And then advance towards Ardabil. I didn't like that. Oh, it's because I'm in the recruitment tab. It doesn't like that. Okay. So let's make take this religious agent because we've got a couple of church schools here. Push them up to Yerevan. Upgrade the farm. Let's recruit a hussar captain, Stefan Dzinski. Congratulations, Stefan. Because you need to replenish. You've got you've got orders to march on Baghdad. Bodia. Advance to Latakia. Let's raid this shipyard. Got range for that. Then start to raid trade lines. Okay, great. The dockyard. Let's send our. Yeah, there they are. Let's send our ship out to do some raiding. Ooh. Don't worry about Alexandria. Great. The vineyard. Great. This. So I think. Yeah, in Poland we have another full army. Field Marshal of Europe is ready. So let's move them to Crimea. We'll move them by ship to somewhere over here, I guess, and drive southeast. And then here. Make sure you're still recruiting. Do you need a light infantry? Actually, you. Yeah, we are recruiting some in there, actually, so don't do that. Recruit a unit of line infantry guards. They're coming from Warsaw. Yeah, move you southeast. And we'll push into Persia with you. Vilnius. Upgrade the, f upgrade the farm. And upgrade the production capability. I think we've got a few more farms to upgrade. Down here? Yes, we do. Keep those upgrades rolling. 1,000 left. That's probably not enough to do very much at all. Maybe over in the Americas. Right now, I don't think we're at war with anybody with territory in the Americas. Okay, let's upgrade the farms in Montreal, because Montreal has two towns to develop. And again, so does Niagara, but okay, we're still going to go for this. <laughs> okay, you're holding your position. So this is kind of all I really wanted. You're a bit of a mobile reserve. We've got territory itself. I could upgrade the Niagara infrastructure. Don't have time for that. Okay. Rocket troop in Poland. You're already committed, aren't you? Yes, you are. Get right in there. Nice. Any tech to worry about? Not on the immediate horizon. Cool. Wedge for a thousand? Okay. Wedge isn't... Super critical to give away. There's just a steam engine, fire by rank, quick climb, shrapnel, and some of the uh, philosophical technologies that allow you to upgrade docks and stuff. Those are the ones that I wouldn't give away. Most of it is is, is all right, and probably bayonets early game. You probably don't you don't want to give away 
uh, any technical superiority in bayonets if you've got it. Oh, you've stolen march on us and broken your forces in two. Very well. Let us engage. They've got mostly Fellaine infantry, Fellaine musketeers, but they're all a militia. Yeah, this is going to be fine. If this is all you've got, you will suffer for trying to do battle with us. Your empire will fall into our sphere of influence. Let's have a bit of coffee. I'm, I am not a coffee snob. I'm just... Uh, well, no, there's no, no, no ifs about it. I like the idea of fancy coffee. I'm just too lazy. So instant it is. Yeah, my gunners are going to sit up on the high ground. The enemy army, because they're mostly comprised of militia, their infantry firepower is going to be very poor. So we're not worried about being outshot. We don't need our uh, guns in the line. Pikemen are going to help defend them here. Okay, let's put... Looks like it's going to be all of our cavalry on the left. Well, they've got a bit more freedom to manoeuvre. See, all my guns are going to engage their bell pounder unit, which is fine, because that's probably the most dangerous unit we've got. First hit, destroyed a gun. Excellent. Okay, these militia units, Feline Musketeers, they're just not great. Israeli are okay, but they're not they're not great. Feline Musketeers in particular are super not great. Let's pull our cavalry right up here on the high ground to observe what's happening. The elite second lancers. The elite. Elite Hussars. Excellent. Time to re-engage. Going after on my left flank. Oh man. Reload. Here's the other enemy gun team. Okay, let's split our fire just to make sure nobody's getting left out of this. Engage. So they do want to. They do want to fill out this flank. Okay, now they're coming back in. Good, good. Okay, let's do. They're very much focusing on our. I'm guessing it's our pike block. And our grenadiers are being hit by accident. What are you doing, Jenkins? Two guns up still. Three guns up still. They've lost a crewman. Probably better, I think, to focus on them one at a time. Well, their guns on the other side of us now, so we might actually want to readjust our fire on these guys because it's become the you're, you're shooting at a battlefield target they're engaging our guns let's probably try to take these guys out Dance forward infantry are up. To, well, they, they, they did commit. The gunshots are coming in from the second foot guards. Second grenadiers. Go on, our war. Our war. The general advanced towards our line and got roundly beaten. 
they're not broken well they're not shattered so they could well return unless they get unless the constant withering fire is enough the union of musketeers advancing in yeah they're not in position yet Look at this massive melee infantry coming in. I want to try to tidy up the right flank. Bring up my pikemen. If I can tidy up the right, I can roll up and uh, deal with the left. Coming in, but make my skirmishers fall back, get my pikemen come in. And the cavalry's coming in as well. Grenadiers commit into the horsemen. It's kind of the other way around. Kill the last of the Feline, just try to shatter them, and run in, fill in the. Uh, Begin to fill it the horsemen. They're not threatening my cav on the left. I'm leaving them, leaving my cav where they are, really. Excellent. So they're shattered. Go the cavalry aren't. They will annihilate these musketeers. Now, they're, now the last of their cavalry is actually committed. Well, not the last of their cavalry, the last of their force has committed. There you, man. Well, these hussars might have to back up the lancers once they get into the melee combat. Smash! Get out of the combat. My dragoons have seen off these flying musketeers. Get my stars out of there. Center of their lines collapsed. Okay, you met. Okay, advance the line forward. Skirmish cavalry. Most of our line just ignore them. Lancers charge the uh, charge those skirmish cavalry in there. Big hit. Come up, bolster them. You're still okay, just ignore them. Dragoons get those Feline Musketeers. Cavalry get the enemy artillery. We target our artillery against the camel gunners. Get the lances in against these feline musketeers. They're wavering. Lost a lot of men very quickly. Okay, the line has collapsed. Push forward, men.
man. Kill those gunkers. We cut, we bring my cavalry back around because there's a unit of Israeli there that wants to meet them. Okay, they've they've maneuvered away from my infantry here, instead wanting to go after my the cavalry going after the artillery. Dragoons and lancers, ready to go. <laughs> Not in play. But they're upset because they're attacked in the rear. This is sort of the combination of um, get my hussars in there as well. Some of the uh, one of the units the cavalry was chasing has come back. This is kind of why retarget. Hussars charge the Israeli. My lance is to commit. Yeah, you chase down the Israeli. Slaughter them. Who's left? One gun team. Well, the gun team's still near their guns. Apparently. How about you? We are going to continue. Them what it means to make war against us. We didn't do anything. We are not your enemy. Make sure these guys are fire at will off, because otherwise they're going to annihilate my general here. Oh, they, near they could have routed, but they came back. So they managed it. They managed it. You guys mop up this unit here. Nice, you got them. Great. More cavalry. Decisive victory. Always what you want to see. So that first Persian force has been blunted and sent scurrying back. 5,800 they started with, 2,200 remain. If you want to start something, Iroquois Confederacy, we can go. We can make this happen. Right, Georgia. Again, with it. <laughs> <laughs> ships breaking out into the Atlantic and into the Med to do something, I guess, to attack Russia. Because we're not enemies. They're not attacking us. No, sir. Right. Path blocked. I mean, it can be very much unblocked. Let's not act like that's a big problem. You men. Put the city under siege. Troops replenish. Okay, we can upgrade the church school here. Actually, that means that the U agent get down to Baghdad. You advance down. One more turn, you'll be there. This guy move through. Who's here? You've not got the endure. You've not got the um, movement points to get there in one turn, but we can soon threaten them. This army might come and attack us in the rear. That's not a problem in and of itself. 
Okay, let's turn Anchor into a great Catholic bastion. Really, I should make sure I'm upgrading the right things. Particularly industry. Good, good, good. More money. More money, more good. You are still on your way to Crimea. This army is... Yes. Big block of cavalry and artillery coming from Warsaw. Then all of these were recruited for you as well. Let's not go mad with recruiting recruiting for that army yet. We don't quite know what else they need to what they need really. Can upgrade the farms in Kiev. There we go. Awesome. Right. Crewman report, lots of good stuff, which you've already dealt with. Traits gained, woodman preacher. Mistress. Yeah, one of our agents that's converting people in the Americas absolutely loves it. You can probably try and kill their preacher. It might upset the 13 colonies, but if that's where we get to, then that's where we get to. Okay, you've converted all the people in Montreal. They got a... Oh, it's because I didn't move the actual... Uh, didn't move the agent, I moved the army. Okay, two turns and I'll convert all the people of Quebec. Montreal, yeah, they are susceptible to conversion now. This guy is going to be wandering through our territory. That's okay, that's not terrible. Okay, next turn we're going to finish the recruitment of the steam pump land drainage, which is good, and then I'll bump onto. I mean, machine tools and steam engine like this tree is really important if you're playing the long game. Right now, I'm, my economy is sufficiently strong. I don't have to race down it. But two turns till we get quick line. That's what I want to see. You occupy the fort near the Russian border. But they do strategically need to be paired up with a Baltic fleet to prevent an army from sailing down the Gulf of Finland and landing near my capital. Uh, how about no technologies, no military access, and we trade? I will not give you technologies. You are not in a superior position to me. Oh, the garrison's going to attack us. And we've got a couple of guys running north to frustrate us around Ankara, but that's okay. Uh, Abdullah Galip. Let's do this. So the enemy garrison is pushing towards us. We, we, to be honest, we could probably do with not chasing down and killing the garrison. We want them to go back to the city. Well, I suppose they'll run away from the city regardless. They'll be out in the in the desert to the east. But if they were going to run back to the city, you would probably want to not kill the units because you'd rather have a, you know, a thirty strong unit of musketeers rather than a full strength garrison musketeer unit heavy horse guard artillery is going to maneuver up the hill it's interesting i don't have any other foot artillery units just lots of howitzers my 12 pounders just deploy and open up heavy horse howitzer is going to stay mobile as well let's get a unit Warband in this house. Some troops down the hill. Uh, not the not the warband. The line infantry guards and the skirmishers are going to deploy as needed. Probably get my lances on the right because they've got more freedom to charge. My Trabant cavalry stay left because they might have to respond over in the city somewhere. Kamloops also go right. Limber up. Can 
you're going to abandon that defensive position. All of the enemies coming in directly on our left. And we can butt up against this feature on the right. Cavalry go out here, then down here. Same with the cam. Well, the cam looks. One of them get here. Skirmishers need to abandon this position and get back here. In light infantry, you're going to just bolster the left. But yeah, that's where the enemy... The enemy strength is going to be up here. I'm just going to make you guys run, but you're not going to do that. I mean, the heavy horse, horse artillery run, because they've got a lot of horses in front of them they can actually do stuff not bothered about the janissary going to do anything of themselves fusiliers please stakes we want to make sure that we move our howitzers back somewhere through somewhere that isn't going to place stakes because the enemy does love dumping lots of cavalry at us, placing stakes is going to be something we want to do. Although you're going to run all the way down here around and place stakes down here. Such a big unit. But to be fair, stakes don't hurt ours, our unit, so it should be fine. Warband appears determined to be stuck in the town. They're going to get caught out by the Janissary Musketeers. You run that way. As you run that way, you'll just get shot. My cavalry might might sit up here. Okay, now you're here. Now you can just run towards my line. Remarkable, you've not been caught out by now. See, we do make it through. Although, are you just going to get perpetually stuck on the stake? The answer to that is perhaps interesting. Cavalry, second units. If we kill the kill the um, the gun crew, that would also be useful. I wouldn't be surprised if when we unlimber, they run through. But yeah, my lance is up here. I could probably do with only needing one lancer on that flank. Where's my heavy horse artillery? Engage. 
unit of grenadiers at long range. Engage the Kurdish Hilt Kurdish actually engage the Mamluks. These infantry are not gonna last long against our line. There we go, the crewman one this crewman made his way through the stake, so they're not it's not a perpetually it's not a perpetual disaster. through okay my my foot artillery engage and their artillery Everybody's unstuck, everybody's okay. They're gonna fire round shots, I'm not bothered about the I'm not bothered about you shooting them anymore either. If they wanna try to push this hill, they can. But they've got heavily armoured lance cavalry here. Until they bring their guns out, there's not a lot they can do. One gun. My howitzers are firing round shots. Steady, man. You're in a bit of a bad position, but you're here now. Machine of Mamma looks fresh. Running down our line, getting us to trigger our fire. You can charge if you like. That's a particularly bad spot. You've got two lanes, two lines of space. Fire well off with your silly pistols. Okay, you've made it to our lines. Bully for you. But we're holding firm. There we go. Let's make all my hours to start shooting crafty shot now. Good artillery still. I'm gonna smack that unit of howitzers. Organ gun. Okay, let's maybe go after the organ gun. Yeah. My heavy howitzer unit. I'll get one of my regular howitzers to try. They can't hit that unit. Actually, you might keep hitting them instead. <laughs> the death, the death charge of the hussars. Chase them down the hill. See them off. Oh, that was 
You haven't lost a single cavalryman. You <laughs> just charged down the hill. Beautiful. You're in a you're not in a great spot at all, unless they come real close. Mamelute charges. Coming in, we still got some stakes for you. So we're not gonna drop into square. Fools. The officers died on the stake. Excellent. Force them back. Did we kill that artillery unit? It looks like we did. Yeah, we did because the gun, the the artillery is not even get something else. Okay, aim at. The organ gun, please. You're here attacking a dug in position. Advancing again. This flank's going to advance forward. You're going to... I mean, this is not going to be... This isn't going to be when the enemy attack. We're still going to maintain some cover. Oh, the archers are making it to our front line. Scaling the fence. Shoot that man. Kurdish hillmen are moving up. Oh, we killed the organ gun. See, these, this, the, the, this artillery team is just a sniper. Janissary grenadiers. No! You're not looking the right way, man. <laughs> I'm afraid I love you, sir. Wavering. This is a battle that's going to be won by the infantry. Okay, now, now some of the units are getting sufficiently close, but you're now advancing to range of. 11 foot guards, the 96th regiment of foot. Yeah, these grenades are broken. Reload. Oh, they're getting into ch they're getting into charge. Although we're not actually shooting at them, that's fine. Reload! What are you gonna do? Are you placing stakes or something? Scream over. The 
advancing into the maelstrom. All you see is routing units. Standing and firing. They're in a bit of a gully here. Cavalry isn't going to be super useful in this engagement. We can make them break. Yes, we can. Hold in the flank. This is why, partly why I don't like giving units orders to attack things. Because even though they've got guard mode on, they still pursue. That's why I like just having guys just stood in the line firing at will. Even though you get cases like this where they're not shooting the one in front of them, they're shooting to the one at the side of them. So, Fuselids are not good in the melee fight. Absolutely not. They're only here to add pressure onto another wing until reinforcements arrive. Okay, right, now you guys pull up, pull back. Coming. <laughs> Just like a tidal wave onto the Grenadine, onto the Royal Pyro Infantry Guards. British Hillmen and some. Oh no! Not the lancers! Not the no, not the lancers, not the winged hussars! Could chase them down, but they've taken a real hammering in this engagement. I think that's enough. We've dealt them enough of a blow. 560 men remaining. Didn't even matter. Uh, auto resolve. <laughs> okay, so there are going to be some troops running up towards Ankara that are looking to probably just raid and cause trouble. So you need to push the garrison of Ankara out to the southeast just to stop that from happening. Persian, Persian religious agent in a, in a failed attempt to try and maintain the religion of Islam in the Middle East. I'm afraid that time has passed. Catholicism is here. <laughs> Georgian fleet resupply <laughs> with their milk cows in the middle of the Mediterranean. Nice. Okay. Ah, you're raiding Britain. Steam pump land drainage. Super. So I think they've gone on. They should have gone on to. Um, I should actually check. Threshing machine. Interesting. I thought they normally go along like that. In which case, crack off. Go for machine tools. That's. That is just good. Iron workshops at Alborg, boost iron production, lots of farms. Upgrade the farms, upgrade the fur trapper post, upgrade the up, upgrade you to a government council. We already have a we already have a, um, a large recruitment centre in the form of um Quebec. Let's fortify Montreal. Hop back 
move to here. So. Let's give you a general. Let's call upon. Oh yeah, if we group some of our <laughs> some of our elite infantry, it'll take forever to get here. Push boost, get some line and a bit of cavalry. Okay, so you're on the way. Oh no, sorry, replenish. Yeah, you can. Well, yeah, you you can deal with taking out a build quite nicely. This force you could definitely take Damascus really nicely, and you could also take Baghdad most likely, <laughs> really nicely. Uh, right, okay, yeah, that could definitely, definitely happen. First of all, let's make sure our recruitment of this army is still going well. I could probably do with moving you here. Oh. Okay, bring you guys into the mix. Okay, so one unit of line infantry guards you don't need. Two units of howitzers, and that will be you. Duh. Oh, you probably only need one unit of howitzers. Okay, let's try get a unit. Of, just a unit of line infantry will do. We don't need to put all of our grenadiers into. One army. Okay. Although we can't recruit yet with him because we have some cities to take. Um, judging by the time, we could probably pack Baghdad now. Get that done. And then start the next episode with attacking Jerusalem or Ardabil. Probably Ardabil. I think, yeah, that makes the most sense, I think. But yeah, we need we need some cash just to get um, Baghdad back on its feet. It will, it doesn't mean that Baghdad will need to be quite vigorously defended from the Persians. Because we are, we are now very much extending our front line where we could be attacked. But we've got a really good, an, an exceptional battlefield army here, really. It's exactly, it's exactly what I want. It's just, it's a really good army. Technology might um, make some aspects of it better, like shrapnel shots and uh, quick climb, but you don't need those things. Very well. Advance towards the enemy at speed. Digging in, but we well, actually, if they're going to be completely dug in, we can just do this. They've got hidden units somewhere. There they are. Garrisoners are. Garrison is landing swordsmen. Not that bothered. Use my howitzers to start knocking out some of these other units. Artillery can keep engaging. The enemy mortars. Make sure my Trabant cavalry are fireable off so they don't shoot a bunch of my lancers. skirmishes they normally engage at range but suddenly over the hill Polish troops have emerged all along the line How 
Lance's ceasefire. Japan Cavalry, come in, kill some of the enemy. Dad has fallen. <laughs> Don't think there's much need to carry on with that. Excellent. Okay, let's repair the government. Let's repair the buildings inside the city. We can't fortify the city yet. You men are going to reinforce. So where's your college? Do you not have one? Doesn't look like you have one. Cut. Uh, ooh, don't really like cooked having the church school because it's right on the front. Nayaf is growing. Nayaf's in the south. Pretty sure it was in the south anyway. Probably completely wrong. My Iraqi geography does leave something to be desired. There it is. Uh, that would also become a shit school, I think. But yeah, okay, we haven't got a huge amount of money, so we might continue to siege Damascus. Uh, actually, we might continue to siege this while we're reinforcing, so what I'm going to do is actually... If you haven't got much money, um, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Damascus. Cheers, everyone.